much. This morning on Denver 7 News at 5, we are saying goodbye to a legend. Broncos country is mourning the loss of owner Pat Bolin, who passed away over the night at the age of 75. It meant so much to fans and players and the city of Denver. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Sanders. And I'm Nicole Brady, and we are honoring a Broncos legend this morning. Overnight, the Broncos announced owner Pat Bolin died at the age of 75. The Bolin family says his legacy will live on through the Broncos, the city of Denver, and our fans. Denver 7's Eric Lufer is live in Dove Valley this morning. And Eric, Pat Bolin had an impact on the whole Broncos community. Oh, I'll tell you what, you can't really say Broncos without saying Pat Bolin. And uh, he, under his leadership, he sure gave my family a lot of memories. I will always remember when we won our first Super Bowl, the Broncos beating the Green Bay Packers. And of course, that that line that we'll always remember when Pat Bowen was up on that stage with the Lombardi Trophy and he said, this one's for John. Then, of course, the Broncos won back to back Super Bowls, beating the Falcons the following year. And then, of course, Super Bowl 50 beating the Panthers. Three Super Bowl championships, three Lombardi trophies. What a legacy. The Broncos have gone to seven Super Bowls. They've been in the playoffs 19 times since Pat Bolin bought the team. That was 35 years ago, back in 1984. And we all know the close relationship John Elway, Joe Ellis, really the whole team had with Pat Bolin. Uh, John Elway, when the Alzheimer's diagnosis first came down a few years back, was very emotional. And Pat Bolin was really out of the public eye ever since that diagnosis, but we knew he, he was in the background. We knew he and his family still had that one goal in mind, winning championships. And because of that mindset, Pat Bolin has become the most successful Colorado team owner in history. And to top it all off, he will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Broncos country lost a good one. Pat Bolin dead at 75. I'm at Dove Valley, Eric Lou for Denver 7. Thank you, Eric. We have a more detailed look at Pat Bolin's life and the full Broncos statement on his passing on the DenverChannel.com. Of course, we'll be covering this throughout the day here on Denver 7 and on our Denver 7 apps for Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV.